Namaste Dosto. The Burger King here in India. Oh, there you are. Look at that. The cable got caught on the truck. Hell. Oh, God. Try not to get killed while I'm shooting the intro. So these guys up on this rooftop, they're hanging a cable from up there to this tree over here. And that's Burger King there. I gotta go start the intro again. Burger King here in India is quite different from Burger King here in its home, the United States of America. So let's see, what's the diff and how authentic is the Indian version? Before we get stuck into the food, let's look at both countries' menus. The menus are very different. The Indian menu features many deep fried vegetarian patty burgers. And then there's chicken or goat meat burgers. And as you can see here, the goat meat burger isn't even advertised because Indians prefer chicken. The American menu has just one vegetarian option, which is quite the contrast. And then a selection of beef, pork, fish, and chicken burgers. Price-wise, a goat Whopper is 45% cheaper than the original American beef Whopper. Fast food is almost always cheaper in India. Now let's check out the food. Let's start with the boigas, and this is the mutton Whopper. Wow. Now the first obvious difference is here in India, you only have the chicken or the mutton Whopper. And so everything's in here, right? You've got the tomato, you've got the pickle, you've got the onion, you've got the lettuce, and you have this large mutton patty. Mm. So sometimes this mutton whopper can taste a bit rubbery, like the mutton can taste a bit rubbery, but today it's great. They've flame grilled it. You can see the grilling marks on here, just like they're doing in the US. And uh, the flavor is exactly the same as America. You've got the same mayonnaise and ketchup. So if you're an Indian and you want to try something authentic, this is the burger to order. When you come to Burger King, because if you order the chicken Whopper, there is an orange spicy sauce in there, and that burger has just become a chili bomb. So this is the original Burger King burger, as close as you're gonna get here in India, with the exception that it's a mutton patty. And every time I come to Burger King, this is the burger I order, the mutton Whopper. I never had these veg burgers, but we're gonna try them today. And uh, my wife's here and she's gonna finish those. And this is the original Whopper. I'm here in Nashville in the US and it's my first time ever having a Whopper in the US or Burger King in the US. And obviously the biggest difference straight away is it's just lettuce, mayo, tomato, onion, and ketchup and beef. For religious reasons, you don't find beef in a lot of states in India. But then you also don't find pork as well. But there's no law against selling pork in India like there is selling beef. Let's give it a go. They're both just okay. There's nothing special. Even the beef tastes a bit, a bit rubbery here in the US. It's meant to be flame grilled, but you know, this hasn't been flame grilled, you can see. Really, really average. Oh, and there's big, big pickles in there as well. Even the bun here in the US, it's all squashed down. Like, it's not nice and fluffy. So, um, I mean, it's a tie. Both Whoppers are bad in the US and India. Next up, this is the Veg Whopper. Yep, there's a vegetarian Whopper here in India. Let's see, I've never actually bothered to order this because I'm quite happy with the mutton. Oh yeah, have a look. So, you have this patty in here. It's a very crispy patty and Inside this patty, it is potato, spices, and a bunch of other vegetables. And then it's deep fried, so it's, it's really quite crispy. And then the sauce that I told you about. Here is the orange spicy sauce. You know, the thing about vegetarian burgers here, at Burger King, or any fast food restaurant in India, I don't know why you'd come here and buy this. Because just for like a quarter of an American dollar, a quarter, can go outside here and you can buy a vada pal or a dabeli. These are like Indian vegetarian burgers that they've been eating, these are like traditional Indian foods and they're just delicious. And they're not processed, they're made freshly and um, you're supporting the common man, you're supporting the um, army on the street who's trying to get by, so yeah, 
I've never had the feeling to come here and order a vegetarian burger because I'm so happy with the options outside on the street in India. Anyway, let's try. Horrible. Really horrible. And really spicy. Really, really spicy. Is that jalapenos in there? No, it's gherkins. You can see the patty in there. The patty is also orange inside, so just spice. And this veg patty is kind of stale, like it's kind of just tastes old. It's just super processed, I guess. So yeah, stick to butter pal and stick to the belly outside. I can't see any reason to come here and have this vegetarian whopper. And this patty is basically the same across all the other vegetarian burgers here at Burger King. I've got one more interesting vegetarian burger to show you here though. My wife is just trying it now and let's get her feedback. Would you rather have this or a vada pao? Vada pao, definitely. Yeah, I thought so. It's worse than McDonald's. It is worse than McDonald's, yeah. You don't want it? Yes, you don't want it. Okay, that's the veg whopper. Ugh, don't go there. But now I have a very special whopper. This is the impossible whopper. There is no meat in this. This is a vegetarian patty. It's like a Frankenstein patty, okay? So it's the same thing, but we have this different patty. Oh, they've, they've burnt it to a charcoal. You can see that, right? Like it's charcoal. It's a shame they burnt that. It's really burnt all the way around. Horrible. Smells burnt. Man, this bun is a bit better. The bun's better on this one. And you've got the same ingredients. To a normal Whopper. So let's try. This is like a Frankenstein patty made up of um, different types of beans and all sorts of different ingredients and it's meant to taste like meat so let's find out. It's so weird. It is so similar to beef. The taste and the texture. It's really similar but would you as a vegetarian, <laughs> would you want to have something so similar to beef? You know what I mean? Is it solving a problem that's not there? Why would a vegetarian come here and order something which looks and tastes like beef? Anyway, it's okay, except it tastes like charcoal right now. Other than the charcoal, yeah, beef flavor. Now I've got a special burger here for you. You will not find the Royal Paneer Burger in the US. Now what is Paneer? Paneer is an Indian cheese. It's white and it doesn't have much flavor. So I think it's gonna work really well in a burger. Let me show you the Paneer patty. Okay, so all that orange spicy sauce again. We've got another chili bomb here. And I'll just bite into the paneer and you'll see what it is. This is the one. If you're coming to India and you wanna try something unique, paneer burger. And you can see in there, that white stuff, that is the cheese, the paneer. It looks thicker in the advertisement, like it looks double the thickness in the advertisement. I wish it was thicker. If it was thicker, it would be even better. And quite a nice bun here. The bun is different to the Whopper and the other burgers. This one works, this burger works. So that's the Paneer Royal Burger. I recommend trying this and let me know in the comments, would you try this vegetarian burger? All right, it hasn't been so good in the US so far, but I have something which I hope is gonna solve all our problems here. This is the crispy chicken. It's what they call a chicken sandwich in America. They don't call it a burger, they call it chicken sandwich and it's a spicy chicken breast with pickles and mayo in this very buttery brioche bun. Looks amazing. And um, cause it's spicy, I think my Indian bros will love this burger. Man, like, I'm not enjoying anything today. I ordered the wrong burger. So there's two chicken burgers. There's the spicy chicken and the normal chicken and the normal chicken sucks. This is what I wanted, this is the, the chicken sandwich, as they call it. Except the chicken breast is covered in southern hot sauce. This is what I think is gonna be good and what I think Indians might love because, you know, we all love a bit of chili. We all love a bit of heat. I've had really good spicy chicken sandwiches here in the US, like at Hattie B's in downtown Nashville. This just ain't it. This is just like a poor clone. Over to the simple stuff, so we have the fries here in India. Nothing to complain about, it's fries. All the burgers are a fail here in the US for me at Burger King. 
not digging it, I would never come here and try this stuff on my own. Now, we got the fries. So this is good. But you gotta have more than good fries at your restaurant to make me come back, God. Next, the milkshake machine is actually working for once. So uh, let's try a milkshake here at Burger King. I've got that bloody spicy sauce on my straw somehow. Mmm. Man, I love chocolate, I love milk, and I love ice cream. And that's all that's in here. It's delicious. Man. Okay, this is the best milkshake you can get at a fast food restaurant in India. The chocolate shake machine is working here in the US, and this is definitely bigger than the Indian shake. Great. Exactly the same recipe as the Indian. The store experience here, I've always found like Burger King's just really generic. Really generic, nothing exciting. And that's what you get here in India. It's really boring. But in New Zealand, when I was a kid and I went to Burger King, they had styled the restaurants as American diners. So you'd walk in and it was all kind of metallic and you had these seats with these massive plush cushions and you had a jukebox in the corner and you had unlimited refills on the drinks. So yeah, they were trying to replicate American diners. I really, I really loved that. That was memorable. I'm still loving this shake. It's not often I get to say something good about fast food in India because generally I like the authentic stuff and here they just add, they make everything a chili bomb. They add chili sauce to everything for the Indian taste buds. But I um, love the milkshake. When it comes to the store here in the US, it's pretty boring. It's not very exciting. This is all like a bit too like modern and kind of bland. One other difference here is India has these takeaway windows as well. So you've got the restaurant there, then on the side you have a takeaway window. And around you have all the, all the delivery drivers waiting. I think the only way to end this is just by saying Burger King is just nasty. So which would you rather eat at? The American Burger King or the Indian Burger King? I really did not like either. I, I hated both actually, so I won't be eating there again. But you can see the differences, right, in the Indian version and the American version. The Indian version is more of a chili bomb. They add chili in everything. And the American version is like mayo and ketchup. But um, the shakes were the same, so that was good. But yeah, let me know in the comments, which would you rather eat at? Or would you rather eat somewhere else? There are so many more better fast food joints to eat at and I've covered McDonald's and KFC, so do go check out those next.